stories on Butch Reed. Now, that's a name we've not spoken about. Uh, someone we've not talked about his effectiveness in Mid South after JYD's departure. Was he. Uh, you said before he was the most likely candidate to replace Junkyard Dog and actually have at least some impact. Well, totally different, totally different personalities from Junkyard Dog. Butch was a good guy, and he he spoke in such a way that didn't you didn't envision peril or devastation. He kind of talked kind of soft, but he talked rough, but. There was a difference. Good guy to work with. Good guy. He's passed away now. Yeah. Oh, Butch but, Reed. I think he. I thought he was alive still, or has he just died recently? I think he'd look it up. Look it up. Oh. I think he died a couple of years ago. Okay. Uh, well, I looked that up. Um, one of the things about Butch Reed we always hear about is just uh, of a territory full of badasses. You know, like your, even Matt Bourne, let's say, but you know your Ted DiBiases and Steve Williams and your. Jim Duggins and all that kind of thing. Where does Butch rank for you? And have you got any stories about him in that vein? Well, I remember one night it was in Tulsa and John Nord, you know who I'm talking about? John Nord. He, does. Uh, he, he did die two years ago. Sorry. I just wanted to get that out there. You were right. I, I don't know how I forgot that one. Uh, John Nord. They weren't getting along in their matches. And Bill Watts saw it. And one thing about Watts, if two guys didn't have, if they had an issue, instead of them having it out in the ring, which was the worst place to have it, because even though it wasn't televised, the people in that town, you know, shoot fights. Either one guy wins and and the other guy runs off, but they're kind of boring, really. And they only last like, what, 30 seconds? And the, the fight's usually over, most of them. So they were having a problem, and he called them together. I think it was in Tulsa, I think. And I don't know. Uh, and he, cared, he He took them into a room, and he says, hey, we're not going to have this. And he said, now, if you guys got a problem, and I will say this about Watts. He didn't know how to end problems. <laughs> he carried them in a room. He says, hey, might as well get it over right now. If you're going to fight fight now and no matter who wins it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't exit the room and it's over right and they both said okay okay they shook hands before the fight then they started fighting of course they landed i don't know hit the fight went on maybe john told me fight went on about a minute he said, I got him some good shots. He said, he got me some good shots. And then he was locked up and, you know, and then, then Watt stepped out. He said, all right, guys, is that enough? You, you want to continue? You want to go? And neither one of them said nothing because nobody wanted to give in first. But neither one would disagree not to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so and they said, yeah. And he said, it's over, right? And they said, okay, it's over. They shook hands and they left and they never had another problem. Because that was actually smart on Watts' part because he, he was trying to push these two guys and he wanted Butch to get over. And none of these guys came close to Dog. They just didn't come close to him. He had the personality. He had the aura. He had the gift. And I call it magic sometimes. He had the magic. They didn't have the magic. They had the tricks, didn't have the magic. <laughs> they didn't have the hat to pull the bunny rabbit out of something. Uh, how bruised up was John when he was telling you this story? Well, I think he had a little bit of a cut right here under his eye. Then he said he, he said he landed some some big shots. He said, they rocked me, but he said, I rocked him back. Hmm. So but the, both those guys are big guys. Butch was about 240, 250 maybe. Nord was bigger than that. Nord was like 260, 270, and he was taller. Mm. So, but uh, so you never knew you never knew John Nord, did you? I've never talked to him. No, I think I'd have him on. He's going to be very entertaining. That son of a bitch is hilarious, but nobody ever knew it. So he didn't go to a lot of territories. I think he went there, and I he, think he was kind of. 
AEW, I mean, uh, AEW, Minnesota. He, he was in WWF for a couple of years. I'm trying to think where else he would have turned up. Maybe Japan. He was doing Maybe. the Bruiser. He was do, I know in WWF he was doing the Bruiser Brody uh, ripoff, quite frankly, yeah. with a Viking hat on. And actually did it pretty good. Hmm. Well, not bad. But but if you if you rode with him, oh, he loved my humor. I loved his humor. So we entertained each other for the trip. And I have never really laughed harder than than I was when I when when I was with John. And he said the same thing about me. Good guy. Future guest. Really good guy. Future guest, eh? Maybe. I gotta run him down. Okay, I let me tell the people now. We had Ricky Morton scheduled for today. But a lot of times, folks, they're wrestlers. They will tell you one thing <laughs> and then tell you something else. But Ricky had to go somewhere that he said he forgot about. I think his wife did uh, remind him we're going somewhere, so, so you can't do that. And uh, I had another guest scheduled to come on here. And then again, that something happened to there. But I will look up John Nord. And we'll bring him on the show because now, wait a minute. I have brought some people on the show that I thought would be good guests. Have I brought one on that wasn't a good guest? Uh, I don't think so. I think we've all had good guests. Yeah. Well, were you so going you to name someone who wasn't a good guest? <laughs> no, they've always been good guests, but mm. I'm saying, you know, we look at different, you know, data that, that tell you uh, things, yeah. but I think I think John Nord would be surprisingly good. I, I know he's done interviews elsewhere that I think have done quite well. So, uh, and also he's been really great on them. So I reckon John Nord would be a good uh, a good get. And I, I have Jimmy Hart scheduled at some time. I think would be a great guest. Mm -hmm. And who else did I have scheduled? Uh, I'm a, I can't remember. We've, had, we, well, we've Bradshaw. We've been threatening for so long. I thought we had Bradshaw. No, we've never had Bradshaw. Never had him? No. Nope. Well, we'll write him down, by God. He'll come on. He loves to come on. 